A former press secretary for the Queen herself, Elsa Anderson, with more on this. Uh, Elsa, first of all, you worked directly with Queen Elizabeth. You knew her well. So how did you feel about the day's events? Was this, uh, she was part of the planning uh, of everything that took place today. How do you think the Queen would have felt about that? I think she would have been extraordinarily humbled and grateful and thank you, thankful for the amount of people who came out to pay their respects, to say thank you themselves, and to see um, the service, see the coffin move from London and then back to the Queen's home, hometown of Windsor. Um, you know, the Queen it was an incredibly modest, shy individual. You know, she was an, an ordinary person doing an extraordinary job. And um, I think she would have felt very humbled by it, to be honest. And Elsa, how did you feel? I mean, this is someone that you had a personal relationship, a personal connection to. Uh, and I've heard so many people who had no connection to her at all saying they were surprised by how emotional they felt at her loss. How did you feel today watching the services? Incredibly emotional. And I think what really struck me, the, the, the main thing, was when the coffin arrived at the, the doors of, of Westminster Abbey and the doors opened and it was just about to go in and I have to say I, I could feel a, a tear or two sliding down my face and I thought I'm quite a stoical person um, but that that really got to me because it's almost the finality it is this is the end now we've had we've had 11 days of mourning and every day has been a bit different but this is this is the sort of the end Looking around at the many non-dry eyes uh, around London today, you certainly weren't alone there, Elsa. Uh, but there were just crowds and crowds of people, uh, even as we made our way overnight, people camped out along the route, and, and there are parts of London you really couldn't even move through at all. Mm. Uh, there have been a lot of questions about the future of the monarchy and the stability of the monarchy. Does, does the fact that so many people came out to see the Queen lying in state, to see her state, you know, the procession today leading up to her state funeral, does that offer any more confidence in the stability of the monarchy? I think it does. I, mean, I remember King Charles doing his first sort of greeting of, of crowds outside Buckingham Palace and people were shouting, God save the king. So um, I'm very confident about the future of the monarchy. Uh, the, the King Charles has been sort of king in waiting since he was three years old when his, when his mother became monarch. Um, he has stood in for a lot of events when the Queen hasn't been able to. He has uh, he's represented her at state opening of Parliament, on overseas visits. You know, I am incredibly confident he is going to be an outstanding monarch and he has the dedication, duty and service that his mother did. I mean, he, he learnt from the mistress. Uh, there was also this special moment during the procession after the state funeral that hasn't gotten quite as much attention, but the staff at Buckingham Palace yeah. came out and, and so often the spotlight is understandably on the family. But you think about how much the Queen touched those she worked with directly, some, you know, on a daily basis. Absolutely right. You are so right. You know, she's had two of her, her pages who have worked with her for 30, 40 years, um, who are actually walking ahead of the coffin, the procession. You know, I'd, I'd, when I joined the royal household, I thought I would probably do two or three years. You know, 13 years later, and I was still there. Um, it is just the most incredibly humbling thing to do, and I'm just so thankful and privileged that I had the opportunity to serve Her Majesty through the time I did. Well, Elsa, we appreciate your service. We appreciate your time today as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.